Hi everyone, this is Pass from Dark Tower Interactive and today I'm going to show you how to use the new Skeletal Mesh Merger. First of all, make sure that the Skeletal Mesh Merger is properly installed in your engine by going into Editor, Plugins and see if it's properly activated. Then make sure that you can see the uh, Plugins and Engine uh, content folders into your content browser then you'll have to locate the skeletal mesh merger content folder in your plugins or in your engine plugins and then the skeletal mesh merger content folder then you'll need to load your global merger but by right clicking on it and going to run editor utility widget once you've done hit that, you should have this new window in your editor, which is the one we are going to use to merge our meshes. The, red, the array that we'll need to fill is the meshes to merge array that we can find here in the merge params with basically the meshes that we need to merge. We can also strip the loads, activate the CPU access to the final mesh and eventually try to uh, force the system to merge a skeleton before the merge of the meshes. You can actually try to enforce a specific skeleton. Make sure that the skeletons that you're using in the meshes are very similar between them. Otherwise, of course, the system will not be able to, to merge them. Uh, so, to give you an example, I've prepared a mesh from the Polyphoria package and if you're lazy like me, you can also load all the components that you need to merge directly from one of the actors in your scene by just using this speaker. You can select the actual actor and click to fill from actor and the system will automatically find all the skeletal mesh into your blueprint. So, in this case, we're using this ACF enemy which is basically uh, an orc with all his clothes that as for now, as you can see, they are separated into various components like the base mesh, hand, glove, head and whatever. And now we're going to merge all of them into just one skeletal mesh. Now merge success and we can locate it in the uh, relative path that we can find here with the asset name that we, are going, that we have provided. It will be automatically use the name of the actor if you have used the picker, otherwise you can specify your own name. Now we will find it in the uh, mesh merge folder, which is right here. And here it is our merged skeletal mesh. As you can see, they are exactly the same. They are identical, but of course, the second one, the merged one, will require way less draw calls, so it's much more uh, optimized while still having the exact same uh, quality. And of course, as you can see, I have merged other meshes here, and yeah, they look exactly as their uh, divided counterpart. Thank you for watching, and if you have other questions, please feel free to join our Discord channel and request support. Uh, into the dedicated uh, skeletal mesh merger support channel. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel. Thank you.